Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to. I almost said everything possible again. No, no, not yet. Soon ish, but no, not yet. <laughs> welcome back to Blue Plays Elden Ring here in Renala's Chamber, where we finally opened up this locked chest. We got a key from destroying or killing the last of the Baleful Shadows that Ronnie had asked us to dispatch of, which was really just a shadow of Blythe, it would appear. And then we got this. We got this, uh, this new ring, the Dark Moon Ring. Which I subsequently lost. Uh oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. Where did it? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> Which means that we are now the consort of Witch Rani. Her consort would by rights earn the title. I am now a lord. Officially, I am now a lord. Uh, I think that is the entire goal of the game, and I can consider it complete, but I guess we'll keep going for just a little bit. Here are my stats level 102. Definitely trying a different build. It's working. But I really have to be mindful of my approach to battles, which is actually interesting. I like that. I like the strategic approach. Uh, really having fun with the darkness spell or the darkness incantation. Uh, just in case you actually want to see what I'm using. Every now and then people ask me in the comments. So, so you can see we have Carrion Slicer, Glintstone Arc, ha uh, Gavel of Hyma, Great Blade Phalanx, Carrion Piercer, Rikard's Rancor, Darkness, Blood Flame Blade, and Stone of Garank. We haven't even used this yet. We'll see how much we actually do use it. It's only really going to work on our Misery Court at this point. Um, and then in terms of what gear we're using, Wing of Estelle upgraded to plus 7, Misery Court 16, Hornbow 20, Beast Crest Heater Shield plus 6. This has the Carrion Retaliation art on it. Lusat's Glenstone Staff and the Claw Mark Seal. Um... I am curious, though, because a friend of mine, Grackle Flint, you may know him from the comments or the Discord or just being an otherwise amazing person in general, he wants me to try out the spinning weapon a little bit more uh, because the spinning weapon on the Carrion Regal Scepter is different. So I think maybe I will. I think I'll take the hit to my sorcery scaling. Okay, so it is about 23 points lower, but... He thinks that this is actually a little bit better than the normal spinning weapon. So let's let's try it. Let's give that a go for him. Uh, and then for talismans, I'm trying to use more guard counters with the Wing of Estelle. I don't know that it has much guard break, so it's not that great. But uh, And then I have the Arrow Sting Talisman. We might be switching that out. But anyway, what are we going to do today? Uh, first, at the end of the last episode, when Ronnie had her little voiceover after we killed the Baleful Shadow... She did say, please go and say bye to E.G. and to Blythe. Now, I don't know. I actually don't know where Blythe is now that she mentions him. Huh. Also, I want to go check with Pity. I don't remember what Pity had. I don't know if there's anything else I needed. But we can definitely go talk to E.G. Because the last time we saw Blythe. Also, let's get rid of that marker. I don't need that was here at the Forlorn Hound Everjail, but then, uh, then he left. Hmm. Okay, well, let's go start. Let's talk to EG. Then I'm probably going to run up to Pitya. I might even talk uh, to Celius, excuse me, Celibus, just to see if he has anything. And then we'll go from there. All right, so War Counselor EG. Let's see what he has to say now that Ronnie is uh, somewhere else. I I'm assuming we'll probably see her again, but uh, I'm not sure when. Greetings, my fellow. Lady Rani has departed on her journey along the dark path of Empyrean from Rena's Rise, as she calls it. Now Lady Rani is in your hands. I pray that you serve her well and to the very end. Lady Rani oh, along we've gotten that dialogue Lady before. I'm surprised that we don't get something new. Hmm. Okay. That's a bit of a shame. Okay, um, let's see. Oh, I could actually get this up to plus seven. That would really, really lower that deficit in between this and Lusat's. So let's do that. Perfect. Okay. All right. So 273, not too bad. So just to give you an idea of what the spinning weapon looks like. Wait. I thought... Time out. I thought that the left hand dictated... That's bizarre. 
Okay. So in order to use it, I'm going to actually have to two-hand the, the staff. So the left hand dictates your Ash of War only if it's a shield. Right? Well, no, because I, I think my bow does it too. I need to do a quick test here. If I put my horn bow right there, then what is it? It's enchanted shot. Oh, that's, that's frustrating. That's actually really frustrating. Why is it that a bow or a shield dictates my Ash of War, but if I put on a staff, like the Carrion Regal Scepter that has a spinning weapon on it, then it doesn't. Oh, how weird. But if I switch to that, well, we'll see how effective that's going to be. Oh, that, yeah, that does go a lot further out. Okay. We'll see, we'll see what kind of damage that can put out. Anyway, uh, like I said, I want to go and talk to Pitya real quick. Although, how do I, can I quickly get there? I can't, can I? Did I kick a ladder down? Or do I have to run around from Renner's Rise? I should probably go back to Renner's. Was there even a ladder to kick down? Sure doesn't appear that way. Um, silly question. Did I go down here? I did, right? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Maybe. <laughs> Let's talk to this ghost. Lady Ronnie, we have long waited for you. I pray for your house's swift revival. May the full moon chant. Yeah, we did read that before. Uh, so I guess Pitya is only accessible by dropping down? It's a bit of a bummer. A little ladder shortcut wouldn't have killed you. So how did we get there? I guess just from Celevis' rise. Okay. Couple quick things. I want to talk to Selvis. I want to go back to Rena's Rise, see if anything has changed there. I doubt it has, but then again, now that the doll is no longer active, maybe, maybe something's changed. I could also go up to her chamber, which we may do just to see. I was really hoping that EG was going to tell me about Blythe and where he might be, since he's the one who locked him up in the forlorn, forlorn hound ever jail. You know, I still want more information on those Ever Jails because they don't seem to be, I don't want to say they're inconsistent, but it just seems like they are used for different purposes. So I'd like to know kind of who constructed them and what was their original... Okay. So, Celevis is dead. Why? Oh my. Celevis' bell bearing, preceptor's big hat, long gown, gloves, and trap. What happened to him? What? Oh, okay. So this is the person who actually sells things with starlight shards. Fingered maiden at Theralina. This is a puppet. And jaw right, sorry, jar white puppet. One of Celevis's puppet, spirit of Finger Maiden who never met the Tarnish she was meant to guide, uses healing incantations and holy water parts, but she is not a fighter by nature and is ill-suited to battle. A maiden without a Tarnish, a Tarnish without a maiden, and yet no guide to bring them together. I mean, I'm technically maidenless, right? And then we have the Jaw White. Jar White. Spirit of a man who wished to become the innards of a living jar. A jar hurling specialist who throws all manner of pots and jars. The warrior jar once told the nameless man this. You are not ready to join the warriors inside. No, you must apply yourself, better yourself, and one day I will return for you. Could this maybe be the new potentate instead of Dialos? I don't... Uh... What happened to Salavis, though? Okay. We have a few things to look at. We have a, a new bell bearing just to gain access to whatever he had, which is probably what I just bought, which is kind of confusing. But what about his new his new hat? I like the hat. I like the hat a lot. Large hat with the movements of the stars drawn on the inside of the brim, worn by the magic preceptors who serve the Carrion Royals. Probably the same one as Preceptor Miriam. Increases mind to the detriment of stamina. That's three points in mind for... 
Let's see, reduction of nine stamina. That's not bad. Honestly, that's not bad. <sighs> okay. Let's 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 rock it. Okay. What about the garb? Does that say anything different? Glintstone sorcerers are the descendants of astrologers, a fact that the Carrions remain aware of, even if their fate has long been severed from the stars. What happened though? Could it could it be Blythe? I mean, and now I just have this potion that obviously is going to do me zero good. Huh. Now, the thing is, I can summon here, and I'm curious if maybe that's a hint. I'm going to try summon summoning uh, the maiden. Let's try let's try to summon the maiden. Oh, they're different. These are actually puppets. I don't really know necessarily what that means. But let's uh let's summon the maiden. See if you have anything to say or do or Nope. Nope, you just kind of wander around. Okay. Well, That'd have been neat. Now, I'm assuming if I send you back, I can't then summon another one now. That's a shame. That's a shame. Okay. Uh, tell you what. Let's, uh... This might seem kind of out of order. I'm going to go to Pity. I just want to see if there's anything that Pity had that I had wanted that I didn't pick up. Because I can't remember what Pity has sold. What? What? Who is that Pitya? Uh Oh What? What in the world just happened? Are you the one who killed Celevis? Oh boy. Pity is bell bearing and Dolores the sleeping arrow puppet. Uh, and I can't attack them. What in the world is going on here? Spirit of a handsome archer who dressed in the style of a man. Called the silent hunter by some, she fires St. Trina's arrows from her shortbow. That's pretty cool. Dolores once belonged to the Round Table Hold, where she was both a critic and a friend of Gideon the All-Knowing. It was because of her that he and Celevis went their separate ways. So Gideon and Celevis used to know each other. Oh, wait a minute. Dolores once belonged to the Round Table Hold, where she was both a critic and a friend of Gideon the All-Knowing. It was because of her that he and Celevis went their separate ways. Was Celevis trying to get back at Gideon by poisoning his daughter Nephilim? Is that a thing? What? What just happened? Okay, um... We're gonna go to Round Table Hold. We have a couple of bell bearings to turn in. And then I want to talk to Sir Gideon, who... Well, let's face it, sadly isn't going to say anything, despite me just getting a little bit more information about him and Celibus. Yeah, journey to the... Journey yeah, to the okay. You think you may be. You're just the worst. Nothing else to say, huh? Okay. Also, we still have Morgoth, according to his dialogue to encounter. We've encountered all the other demigods. Okay. Offer and offer... Pitya, you sold budding horn, old fang, slumbering eggs, celestial dew, which I have so many of, a larval tear, that's right. Okay, so you're the one I bought carrying retaliation. Wait a minute. Weathered map. I don't think she had a weathered map last time, did she? Really, really like the look of that. That shield. I'm buying it just because I like the look of it. 
And the Ripple Blade, why not? Okay. So that's curious. And what about... Celibus? Oh! Oh, wait a minute! Oh my. Carrion Phalanx. Carrion Retaliation. So this is the spell version. Glintstone Ice Rag. Ice Crag, excuse me. And Freezing Mist. Alright, let's take a look. Carrion uh, Phalanx. Creates a defensive arch of numerous magic. Oh, okay. Enhanced version of the Glint Blade used by Enchanted Knights. Carrion Retaliation. Uh, this was the Carrion Royal family secret means to prepare against the disloyalty of the Academy. The Moon and Stars would one day go their separate ways. Glintstone Ice Crag. Snowy Crone taught the young Rani to fear the Dark Moon as she imparted her cold sorcery. Same thing with Freezing Mist. Oh boy. Yeah. Um, okay. This is, this is cool. But obviously I messed something up with Salvis's quest. Probably because I never gave the potion to Nephili. So, am I to assume the puppets? Could have sworn I just heard something. And you still have nothing new to say, right? Which is just weird to me. No new armor, nothing like that. Okay. Anyway. Anyway, anyway. Uh, let's let's try to use something, right? We are going to get rid of Great Blade Phalanx and turn that into... Turn that into... Where is it? Yeah, Carrion Phalanx. Okay. And do we want to get rid of Glintstone Arc for that new freezing one? The Ice Crag? Ice Crag? How expensive is that? 12. That's not too bad. Okay. Let's let's give that a go. Let's give that a go. Now, I got to think. I mean, I would love to find Blythe. I have no idea where he's at. Just just none. So Cat uh Castell and Jaren is still at the Witchbane ruins. Okay. Just trying to think if there's anyone else to really go and talk to. Who's... Uh, that's. Oh, you know what we could do? We don't have any more death root. We have a bunch of dragon hearts. Yeah. Stop putting those. I'm going to go here. I think I had several last time I checked, right? Maybe even five? I don't know. But let's go and see. Because I think every time you kill a dragon, you get a pop-up that says new, new dragon incantations are available. So let's see what we can do. Oh, still just these, though. Okay. What was the other dragon church, though? That must have been in Dragon Barrow, right? So somewhere... Where was it? I, okay, let me get rid of that marker. Um, Church of the Plague? No. There we go. There's another Cathedral of Dragon Communion. Let's see if it's this one that has other incantations. Or unless you have to buy them and then it opens up. That doesn't seem to make sense. Excuse me. Do I know who that was? Oh, yeah, it's just one of them. Okay. Okay, you do have more. Dragon Fire, Agile Flame, Magma Breath, Glintstone Breath. Rotten Breath, Dragon Ice, Dragon Claw, and Dragon Maw. Okay. I can use these. I don't know if it's any good. Maybe maybe Rotten Breath. That's Scarlet Rot Breath. Ooh. That could be good. Let's buy that. Let's buy that, and uh, we'll try to... Oh, right. You do have to eat the Dragon Heart. On that note... We have been hemming and hawing long enough. I don't think there's anyone else I really need to talk to or try and hunt down yet. I'm sure there will be, but we are going back underground into... Ha ha ha. Noxtella. Something just died. <laughs> Ugh. We're not, we're not doing this yet. We're not doing this yet. We're going to go back to Noxtella because we, last time, we went this way. Although I still didn't... Interesting. I didn't actually find a way down in there. 
Okay, but we're going to now hug the left wall and try and explore some of these buildings. Because there was a fog gate up at the top of one of the buildings here. Maybe I'll actually switch out. You know what? Let's do this. I don't know how effective Rot uh, Breath is going to be, but we can switch out the Blood Flame for it because we're just not using it. There we go. Okay. All right. Pretty happy about this. I wonder if anyone's tested whether or not a light source... Okay, trying to determine if that music was a, a merchant or if that was just part of the uh, the ambient sound. I think it was ambient. Okay, um, am I going to get this guy with a backstab? Probably not. We're going to sure try, though. Here we go. Ready? Hey, okay. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. Come on, can I... There we go, fan daggers. Only one? Do I really need that husk? Oh, wait a minute. We can go inside right here. I like that you're not looking at me, but I don't trust you. <laughs> Here's what I want to try. Here's what I want to try. I want to try to not die. That's what I want to try. Yikes. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait. Oh, I'm just doing everything wrong. Oh, that was cool. Oh, and you are, you are, uh, afflicted. Oh, jeez. You are afflicted. That's pretty neat. I don't know how neat that's going to be, though. Nope, no, no. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, Nox Swordstress Armor and Nox Monk Bracelet. So these are Nox Swordstresses. And... Oh, that is a chest. How am I supposed to know which one is a chest and which one isn't, right? Ant's Skull Plate. Okay, by the way, so I actually had to look up those ants. Apparently, they are a group of ants. So there's there's several species and a couple of different uh, gen genera, genuses. Uh, they're collectively known as doorhead ants. So that's pretty cool. But I think I just got a shield to uh, mimic one of their heads, right? I did. Huge head of one of the giant ants which inhabit the two underground rivers used without modification as a shield. Excels at repelling enemy attacks. Giant ants are venomous creatures granting a boost to immunity when wielding this shield. Okay. 100% physical, 63 guard boost, 13.5 weight. That is a lot of weight. That is a lot. Okay. Okay. Well, that's a bit unfortunate there. Oh, we wanted to take a look, though, at the... What do we get? The chest piece and gloves, I think. Swordstresses of the Eternal City. These women are the personal guards of the Night Maidens and wear silky... Who are the Night Maidens? Long ago, the Nox invol invoked the ire of the Greater Will and were banished deep underground. Now they live under a false night sky, which we've seen, in internal anticipation of their liege of the coming age of the stars and their lord of night am i the lord of night because i should be i am a lord after all okay this is hilarious and that all these take care of one oh come on chain reaction yes oh fantastic keep them coming keep them coming that was just wonderful. <laughs> and even got my flasks refilled. Okay. We got some shielded husks in here. Loads of them, but you know what? That was decent. That was decent. Uh, how do I get behind you safely? <laughs> yeah, 
You know what? I'm gonna try this. Not, not great. Not great. Can I jump over you? That's, wow. Ah, that's pretty much a death sentence to try. Don't even look. Just go. Nope, terrible. And now we're stuck. Now we're in a really, really, really bad place. Or... Back up. Well... That was, uh... That was not good. You know how these fights work, though. They're just phalanxes. Nope, nope. Ooh, jeepers! Okay, all right. One left, one left. Okay. Flasks? Yeah, maybe. Okay, now the chest. Ghost glove warts picker bell bearing number two. Oh, oh, that's ghost glove wart. I think the other one was grave glove wart. So this gives me Ghost Glove or 4, 5, and 6. Hey, that's really good. That's really good. Now, if I could only get the same for the Smithing Stones. All right, what fresh horrors await me back here? Really? Nothing's going to drop on my head? Hey, Archer Ashes. All right. Spirits of archers who belong to the Fallen Hawks, a band of soldiers that once explored the Eternal City. Fallen Hawks. I wonder if the inverted hawk crest shield actually belonged to them. The heater shield. Their arrows are imbued with cold ghost flame. Though their methods are somewhat crude, they work well as a squadron firing a hail of arrows in unison at the sound of a war cry. At the sound of a war cry. Is war cry an actual ash of war? I know that that was a special skill in Dark Souls 3. Uh, let's take a look. Ash of War. Storm Stomp. Mm, um, if it is, I don't have it. It could be. I might have to just buy that from Burnall. What's happening? Oh. Oh, where, really? That was your shield? Okay. I don't even know what I just picked up. Wasn't paying attention. Oh, I think it was just a rune. Hmm. No Nox Sorceress here. Oh, oh. My goodness, it just keeps going. Alright, can I... Because I think this is where the gate was. Oh, it's still... That's not a boss, though. Interesting. Not only is it not a boss, I can't even get in. So what do I have to do to break that magic seal? I wonder. This is so foolish. This is so foolish. There might be something back there, though. Urgh. Interesting that the only way up here is to actually just jump over the railing, though. No stairs, no ladder. Hmm. Okay, well, we carry on. Might be a little puzzle, and you guys know I am very, very good at figuring out puzzles. Oh, or it's just a... <laughs> hey, I figured this one out all by myself. What I don't want, though, is to fight two of them. What do I hear? What? Oh gosh, it's one of those ones. Oh no. I haven't actually fought one of these except, you know, by pelting it with spells from up above. All right, fair enough. It doesn't know where I am. Uh, can I just get one? Better yet, can I put one to sleep? Okay, let's try this. We're going to pull with a magic bone and then try some sleep.
Except right, I forgot, you know, they kind of dodge. Kind of, sometimes. Come on, sleepy time. Sleepy time. I mean, at this point, you're just gonna die anyway. Okay. Um. Whoa. Whoa, okay. That just, <laughs> that escalated very quickly. <laughs> Whoops. Well, on that note, I actually just noticed that it is about the time that we wrap up. I know we didn't get very far because we spent a long time tracking down uh, puppets that were killing people. But we'll make some progress next time. Thanks so much for watching. And I will see you, well, next time, like I just said.